Hey internet friends, it's Kelvin and welcome back to Food Chumps where we cluelessly experiment with different food adventures and challenges. Today we're going to be making bubble tea or otherwise known as boba. I've never actually successfully made it so hopefully fingers crossed it turns out well and to prep for it I spent $50 worth of ingredients for your entertainment. So today we've challenged ourselves to make four of the most popular bubble tea flavors. So your traditional milk tea, a lychee green tea, a brown sugar milk tea, and also a taro slush. And for an added twist, we're also going to be experimenting with cream cheese foam, which is one of the most popular toppings in Asia, but for some reason, I haven't really seen it around locally. So before we get started, don't forget to hit like and subscribe, and let's get mixing! So for our first step, we're going to brew our tea. So you're going to choose your black tea and your green tea. And just remember to choose a tea that's your favorite because it's going to serve as the base of your drink. First, we're going to brew our tea and we're going to brew our black tea and our green tea here. So we're going to add double the recommended dose for your tea concentration. And the reasoning behind that is we're going to be diluting this with different flavors and also milk later down that line. All right, now that it's been a few minutes, let's check in on our tea cam. So we'll come grab it and strain it and chill it. We're just gonna put our finished tea into a cold water bath to cool down because we're gonna need it cold so it doesn't melt the ice. So now that our tea is all steeped, we're gonna come strain it out into these glass jars. Now we have our finished brewed tea, so we're gonna set these aside to chill okay. while we make our other ingredients. So next up, we're gonna brew our pearls, which is typically the hardest part of this bubble tea making process. I unfortunately was only able to find this three kilo bag, so it should probably last me about three years, I don't know, or a week, who knows. Just follow the instructions on the back of your pearl bag. Looking at the instructions on this bag of pearls, we brought the water to a boil and we're gonna add a cup of pearls to the hot water. And we're gonna let that cook on low to medium heat for the next 30 minutes. Your bag of pearls might be different, so make sure to read the instructions on yours. And we'll just stir it every now and then to make sure that the pearls don't stick together. And fingers crossed this works. Few moments later. Whoa. Success. Now that our pearls are done, we're just gonna add a little bit of uh, sugar or honey, whatever you prefer to it, just to sweeten up the pearls a little bit. So I got my honey here. Just gonna give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a drizzle of some honey. Feel free to use honey, condensed milk, or sugar to sweeten, however you like. But for our traditional ones, I just like to add a little bit of honey. And for our brown milk tea, which we'll make later, we'll use brown sugar. So next, we're gonna make our cheese foam, which is gonna serve as the topping for all of our bubble teas. So first, we're gonna take our cream cheese and blend it with a variety of other ingredients like whipped cream, sugar, condensed milk, and also salt, uh, just to give it a little bit of a saltiness at the top. So I don't know the exact measurements, and we're just gonna play it by ear. But we're just gonna take a scoop of this cream cheese. Maybe a little bit more. We're gonna add in some sugar. That's a lot of sugar. Yeah. <laughs> and we're just gonna blend it and mix it together. Now that that's mixed, we're gonna add in some whipped cream and this is just gonna help fluff it up. Now that the ingredients are a little bit more blended, we're just gonna sweeten it a little bit. So I read online that we need to add some condensed milk and also evaporated milk. So let's open up these guys. Now that we've opened our cans, we're just gonna add to taste. Hopefully I'm doing this right. I have cream cheese all over myself. <laughs> and then next, we're gonna, just going to add a little bit of sea salt to taste. Taste test time. That's good. Yep. Okay, perfect. So we'll put this in, in the fridge just so that it can uh, chill and it doesn't deflate uh, while we finish making the bubble tea. So now that we have all of our ingredients organized, now we're just going to combine them together. 
So we got our black tea here. I'm just gonna pour some in here. And then we're gonna add some condensed milk just to sweeten that black tea. We're just gonna add some ice to it. And then add a scoop of pearls. Give it a little stir. And then we're gonna add whole milk. So traditionally in a lot of bubble tea shops to save on cost, they'll actually use something like a milk powder. Um, but I like to have fresh milk, so let's add this in. And we're just gonna top it off. There we have it, the traditional milk tea with pearls. Lastly, we're gonna layer it with our cheese foam. Oh my God, I'm so excited for this. Definitely not the prettiest. It's not the prettiest, but it tastes amazing. Let's taste test. Now I'm just gonna separate it into the two. You just gave yourself all the cream cheese. Yep. <laughs> I'm just gonna stick a little bit more cream cheese in yours. No, not good. <laughs> Give it a taste test. I have high hopes. High hopes. Cheers. Mmm. Yeah? That's good, right? This actually tastes like something you'd get from a bubble tea shop. I'm impressed with myself. I was a little bit worried. I'm gonna try a little bit of the cream cheese foam just to test that out. Mmm. I like this. On to the next one. Up next, we have our lychee green tea. So typically in a bubble tea shop, they'll use a concentrated flavor syrup. But since we don't have access to that, I just got a bottle of lychee juice. And we're just gonna be doing a 50% ratio of this with our tea. First, we're gonna add some ice. And we'll add a scoop of our pearls. Then we're gonna do about 50% of our green tea. So I'm not sweetening this because we're gonna use the juice as a sweetener instead. We're gonna fill up the next 50% with our lychee juice. So I went out and bought some coconut jelly and also some popping bubbles. So these ones pop in your mouth and are absolutely delicious. So we'll add a little bit of that as well. There's a lot of sugar to be ingesting at 10 p.m. Yes. In Asia, what they do is they tell you to take a sip of the cream cheese and then drink the bubble tea, so. It's, it's, um, it's missing something. It's missing. It's not sweet enough. You know what? I think it might be this, this juice. I don't think this has enough flavor in it. It's very mild, right? It's very mild. Okay. Definitely need uh, a much more concentrated juice. Yeah. Either that or use a greater juice to, to tea ratio. I like the, the popping pearls and the coconut jelly. That really brings out the flavor of the bubble tea and the cream sure. is good. But yeah, unfortunately, not enough juice flavor. We're gonna move on to our brown sugar milk tea next, but first we need to brew our brown sugar pearls. So we're first gonna bring our water to a boil and then we're gonna add copious amounts of brown sugar. And we're just gonna let this boil uh, so that it gets reduced down and that sugar mixture gets a little bit thicker. So now that the mixture is thickened, we're gonna add a few scoops of pearls to that. And as you can see, I'm just being careful not to burn the sugar there. It's boiling over a little bit. So we're just mixing it a little bit, turning the heat down a little bit, making sure that the sugar flavor is marinating that pearls. And we'll use that in a few moments. Okay, we're first gonna sweeten up that tea. So we've got a black tea here. Gonna add some here and then sweeten it with some condensed milk. Give it a nice stir. About a 50% ratio. The key difference for this one is we're actually gonna layer our brown sugar mixture onto the side of that glass. So that way we get that melting look. So we're just gonna take this, and just drizzle it around the side of that cup. So we have that melted look when we pour our black tea. And add a few ice cubes in. And now we pour our milk. There you can see that nice caramel side, which is gonna sweeten our drink. So that's why we didn't add as much sugar this time. All right, taste test time. This one's definitely my favorite in terms of like the look of it. Cheers, I have high hopes. Okay. Wow. It's very sweet. <laughs> but I think it's definitely my favorite. I think we went a little too hard on the brown sugar pearl of it. But definitely in terms of flavor, it's the best. I actually really, I, I do really like the texture of the pearls. Yeah. When it absorbed all the brown sugar. It's a lot chewier. In terms of flavor, I think not having that cheese foam definitely helped. It's my favorite so far, I will say. Yeah. yeah. Just a tad too sweet. 
Next up, we have our Taro Slush. So for this one, I actually just got a pre-made powder. This is formulated specifically for bubble tea. You can get this kind of powder on any online marketplace like Amazon or different online stores. Just do a quick Google search. This one, funny enough, doesn't have any instructions on there. So we're just gonna play it by ear. But just looking at how bubble tea shops make theirs, they just add milk, powder, and ice and blend it. So let's do that. We'll first start off by adding some ice. <laughs> Pop that off with milk. And then I'm just gonna add maybe one scoop, just to try. Let's try for two. Try for two? Okay, let's do for two. Okay, that's, that seems like a lot. But you know what? We're, we're here to experiment. Hopefully it's not as sweet as the brown sugar one. Right? Yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be. So the color is there, hopefully the flavor is there too. You know, based on the whole mess that you've made today, I don't think they're gonna hire you at any bubble tea shop. Yeah, well. <laughs> but hey, this looks yeah. great. Well, we'll insert B-roll footage of the chaos that is my kitchen right now. Yeah. So, <laughs> cheers. Last one of the night. Mmm. Mmm. Not bad. I actually feel like you could use even more taro yeah. powder. It's missing that flavor. I think it's because the 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 ice? No, it's not the ice. It's because in bubble tea shops, they're making it with like milk powder. Yeah. So there's that more of that milk flavor, but honestly the flavor is there. Like this is very close to, to what you would get. It's slightly less sweeter, probably because I didn't add enough powder, but mm -hmm. I already added four scoops and it is very late. <laughs> <laughs> and I would like to be able to sleep and wake up for work tomorrow. So screw that. Screw that, yeah. Mm. Anyways, cheers. Chug this. Mm. Go ahead. <laughs> and there you have it, all four different kinds of bubble teas. I've had way too much sugar tonight. It's actually 10.30, so I don't think I'll be able to sleep tonight. Hopefully you had as much fun watching the video as we did experimenting and challenging ourselves to recreate all of these recipes. Definitely my personal favorite was the brown sugar milk tea and the least favorite was the lychee green tea. Thanks for watching till the end of the video and hopefully you'll subscribe and like this video. Tune in for next week. Cheers.